Hello guys, Neapel Times here, welcome to a new video and today we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the MagSafe Duo Okay, so Apple's MagSafe Duo, this was one of the first um, MagSafe accessories that was announced back when the iPhone 12 was announced but it came out a little bit later, it came out around November or December I think and yeah, what it's great about this is that of course it will charge your iPhone, but also your Apple. Oops, sorry, it's all the way around. Your iPhone, but also your Apple Watch. So this is pretty great, uh, especially for traveling because it has low profile, doesn't take up much space and all that. Only problem, well, two problems actually. One, the price. Uh, it retails for $150, I think. I got it on discount for like £80, which was pretty decent. And then that uh, charging brick is not included. Of course, what is not included with your iPhone either. And here it says to use the 120 watts, but actually this won't charge at full speed, uh, which might be better to preserve your iPhone's battery life. But just so you know, you will need the 30 watt uh, adapter to charge at full speed. Um, but anyway, enough of me talking, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Okay, so here's a better look at the box uh, without all the blur and everything. Um, yeah, MagSafe Duo charger here, all the information here, all the different positions with the Apple Watch. Uh, then it does include a cable and it's lightning to USB C. And here's the 20 watt adapter uh, that is required. So we'll peel this off and take off all the plastic move that aside and then it will just or will it yeah here it is are you ready Boom. so here is the MagSafe Duo uh, of course this is the MagSafe this is the Apple Watch uh, it will fall like this magnets are pretty strong yeah by default it wants to stay like this and it does actually take a bit of force or pressure to close it but I guess it's also because it's been like this uh, for a lot of time so but yeah let's peel this off and this off for the Apple Watch and that's it here it is this is not shiny it's more matte which I like and of course when it's folded this will stay like this so it's not hidden or anything you have the Apple logo here and this can of course come up to accommodate like this type of bands for example and yeah this is where you charge the lightning cable which is included it's lightning to USB-C which I already have one so I won't be opening this one and there's some documentation paperwork same by Apple in California no Apple stickers because it's an accessory and that's pretty much everything included so yeah, as you saw, no charging brick. It would actually have been nice that they included it just because the iPhone doesn't include one. And this actually is a charger. So why not include a charging brick? But yeah, Apple is Apple, we all know that. And yeah, just now we'll try it with the Apple Watch, with the iPhone, which I have to take off because this is what I'm recording with. But yeah, let's try it out. Okay, so here we have it. So first we'll put the iPhone in and it relaxes magnetically, of course. And it doesn't matter which orientation it is in, it will charge. And in the case of the iPhone XS Max, it does have enough clearance for the camera just very, 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 very tight. But if you have the 12, I mean the 13 Pro, it will be a little bit tight. It will still charge, apparently. I cannot try it myself, but I read somewhere that it will still charge, but it will not be flush. It will be a little bit elevated. And yeah, for the Apple Watch, we can also put it like this. But in this case, because I have this band on, and we need to raise it and then put it to charge. And here we have both our things charging. The speed. Depends, of course, uh, on the power adapter. Right now it's connected to the 30 watt power adapter. So this one will charge at five, uh, 15 watts. And this one will charge at its 
maximum speed, which honestly, I'm not really sure which one it is. Maybe it's three or five, something, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then of course, to take it out, you just do like this. The iPhone 12, 13 Pro Max is quite heavy and yeah, it wants to take it with you, but you'll never like take it out like this. So you can just, yeah, it's, it's not an issue. Like you'll get the whole thing. Same for the Apple Watch. Apple Watch is not even as heavy to move everything. So really nice. Um, you may know, I currently have the Apple Watch charging stand, the one that's only for the Apple Watch. Uh, you can actually see a review right here. Um, so I'll be mostly using this for travel, whenever travel is resumed, because it's very, very convenient to just take this and charge pretty much everything you need on a trip, uh, unless you're like traveling for business and you need a laptop or a tablet or something. But yeah, phone, Apple Watch, it's a hassle-free experience. No more having a lot of cables, finding different plugs for everything. Just very, very convenient. So yeah, now let's go ahead and finish the video. Okay, so this was everything I wanted to tell you about the MagSafe Duo. But very clicky, even clickier than the AirPods box. But yeah, um, overall, very good. For travel especially, also, so in my case, I prefer to charge the iPhone overnight just with a regular charger, wireless charger that is, because it will have five watts instead of 15 and it will preserve battery health longer. But for travel, yeah, only for a few days, this is pretty good. And also if you use it with a 20 watt adapter, uh, you won't be charging at full speed. So it will, again, preserve a little bit of battery health. But yeah, very smooth as of now, because it's new. I'd say it's pretty similar to the Apple Watch Bands field. Um, but yeah, no, very happy. Um, I kind of wish though that it had some way of like, when you have to travel, you have to take this, the cable and the adapter. I kind of wish this, there was like an easy way of putting the cable in it. So it's like all in one thing. Uh, I don't know how, but yeah, I'm sure Apple engineers can think of something. They're smarter than me apparently because Apple won't hire me, but yeah. Um, anyway, $150, is it worth it? Well, it depends, of course. First of all, are you going to travel a lot? Uh, if so, and of course, if you have an Apple Watch and an iPhone. If so, I think it can be worth it. Just because what I said earlier, it's just pretty convenient just to take this and not have to take two chargers. Then if you have to charge both at the same time, you have to find uh, two plugs or maybe have one in the bathroom. If it's a hotel, have one in the bathroom, have one in your room. Yeah, it's a hassle. So this is pretty good. And then another one is in your nightstand. Um, I have the, well, you cannot see it here because it's blurred, but I do have the, the Apple Watch charging base in my nightstand and it's very convenient actually. I'm, I've came, I come to love it. I uh, also pricey, but great accessory. This didn't exist when I bought it, but it's good. It's very good. Another problem. This doesn't support fast charging for Apple Watch series seven, not even with the, uh, faster adapter. Uh, which is bad because like nor does the the nightstand thing uh, and that's bad from Apple honestly they, they should have taken it into account or maybe released an updated version with fast charging for the Apple Watch Series 7 but yeah enough of me talking uh, if you have any questions about the MagSafe Duo please uh, let me know down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer and yeah, forgot to mention, if you can find it at discount like I did, 80 pounds, I think it's a fair price for this, considering it's Apple. Um, but yeah, this base was like 60 pounds. Um, MagSafe charger with the cable is like 30, 40. So yeah, altogether, good. Anyways, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer. Also, if you like this video, please thumbs up. It will really help because the algorithm thinks I'm good and shows it to more people. And then if you like Apple, you subscribe. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.